and welcome back to a, another mini lesson brought to you by Mrs. Huot. And we have read four books. I keep saying we've read, but we haven't read them. We've listened to them, or we've read them to you. But nonetheless, you have heard four books in this genre study now. And now comes the hard part, the important message. This is something we're going to continue to work on for the rest of the year. And we know that the message is not something you can take literally from the story. It's a much bigger idea. It's almost like a lesson, a lesson that can be learned or taken from the story, not to be confused with theme, although the message and the theme usually go hand in hand. So let's take a dive at this together. Thinking back to Magic Trash, if somebody really wanted you to learn something, a much bigger idea than just art's good for your community or you should do art if you want to change your community, you could, but I don't think that's why the author necessarily wrote the book. Let's think about the bigger idea for the message. So if we go back to our mini lesson for a second, we know the author of biography gives an important message. What is it they really want you to take away from the story? Magic trash. I'm going to give you the message for this one. So kind of get your thinking on the right path. And then for the rest, we'll stop and think about them together. So let's go for it. So in magic trash, the message is ordinary people can do extraordinary things. All right. So if you notice, they didn't talk about art. They talked about doing things that are extraordinary or can make a difference. So I'm going to put you on the right path of your thinking. It wasn't about art. It wasn't about an artist. It wasn't about a community. It was kind of a more broad or general idea of something you can take away from a story. And you can usually apply it to your own life in some kind of way. Sometimes, but not always. Magic trash, the message, extraordinary people can do, I mean, excuse me, ordinary people can do extraordinary things. Got it. Odd boy out. Let's think about this one for a minute. If we think about the last mini lesson where they gave examples of all the things that Albert Einstein did, like he didn't talk when he was a boy. Um, he got the compass for his birthday, so they're they're trying to get you thinking about how the message could be relatable to some of the things they've already talked about. So let's keeping some of those things in mind. Let's think about think about the things in Albert Einstein's life and how that could be more generalized, made it into a bigger picture or a message. Hmm, I'll think about it for a minute too. Hmm. Hmm. Did you come up with one? Let's see. Let's see if you're on the right track. Oop. Everyone is different, and that's what makes us special. Were you close? A little bit, maybe? A little bit off? That's okay. We still have two more for you to try to jump in on this. Odd boy out. Everyone is different. And that's what makes us special. What a boring world it would be if we were all the same. Hmm? Nah. All right. Let's think about the tree lady. That was a little bit of a different story that we read. So she did something great. Great enough to someone to want to write a story about. So let's think about it. What would the message be? Hmm. Hmm. And remember, if you can usually identify the theme, if you think about our classroom, those are up on the wall or many of your classrooms, it's perseverance, friendship, bravery. Um, there's quite a few. You guys ready? Here we go. So significant things can be significant things people accomplish 
can live long after they're gone. So, and I think we could say that this message could even be this myth, apply to Odd Boy Out, because we all know Albert Einstein is not alive anymore. So there's not one message. And I think that's a great example of how a message could be a lot of different things for a lot of different books, as long as it's not specific to the content of the book. Like there's nothing about art, there's nothing about being a scientist, and there's nothing about saving trees. And that's what we need to keep in mind when we're trying to think about a message. It's a much bigger idea. All right, last one. Here we go. Nobody owns the sky. Hmm. Let's think about this one together. Nobody owns the sky. Think about some of the big things that happened. How could you put that into a more general statement? Something that you can learn or something that can be taken away from the entire story, not just a part of it. Here we go. Dreams can come true through hard work and dedication. I think that's a great one. And that is similar to a theme, isn't it? Hard work, perseverance, those one big words that you really can generalize a whole book or say the whole book is about when I mean generalizing. So I hope you've learned a little more about messages through our genre study of biographies. We will continue to do message for the rest of the year. We know this is something we all need practice with. Even as an adult, sometimes I have a hard time finding the message. I want to think a little too specific, but don't worry, we'll get there together. So this is Mrs. Huot once again, signing off with our last mini lesson of our genre study about biographies. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.